Do you need to have an HVAC system maintenance check? You might have a system that's only a year or two old. Or maybe you've had your system for a few years, but it seems to be running just fine. So should you really put forth the effort to have a maintenance checkup? Well, HVAC systems, they're similar to vehicles. So imagine that you bought a brand new car and you spent a lot of money on it. Would you ignore regular checkups and the service maintenance required? Probably not. And if your vehicle is older and you wanna keep it on the road and working efficiently, then regular maintenance and checkups are pretty much musts. It's the same thing with your HVAC system. If you invested in a newer heating or cooling unit, you wanna make sure it's working efficiently and that you're getting value for the money you put in for it. So if your HVAC system is nearing the end of its 10 to 15 year average lifespan, but you have no plans to buy a new one, then it's essential that you go ahead and get your older system serviced regularly. And so what are the benefits? Why would you go ahead and hire somebody to come in and give regular maintenance to your HVAC system? Well, one, it'll reduce the cost of your energy bills. It's also gonna reduce the number of repair bills you might end up having. It's gonna avoid catastrophes, such as fires or some sort of gas leak. It will make your equipment last longer, and it's gonna provide better air quality in your home. And so for a winter maintenance check, here are the areas that an HVAC technician is gonna review. First, the thermostat settings. The right thermostat settings help maintain a comfortable temperature while also saving you money. Then electrical connections. If electrical connections are defective, they might damage your equipment or make it hazardous to operate. Motors should have the correct voltage and current. The condensate drain. Should the condensate drain be plugged, it may lead to water damage, musty air due to mold, and increased humidity in the house. System controls. The controls work properly if the system starts, operates, and turns off normally. Malfunctioning system controls can become a safety issue. Heating elements, or the heat exchanger. If these get damaged, they could lead to problems with carbon monoxide. Moving parts. If moving parts are not properly lubricated, they can cause friction in the motors, which in turn is gonna result in greater energy use and cost you more money. The flu system. They wanna check this to make sure it's securely attached to your furnace. Cleaning your air filters. A clean air filter is crucial for efficient airflow indoors. Air filters should be cleaned and switched out regularly. A humidifier. For a humidifier to operate effectively, it must be clean and free from mold as well as debris. And finally, belts and pulleys. They'll replace any frayed belts or pulleys that they see in your system. So while you want to ensure that you have an HVAC technician look over your system every spring and fall, there are some things you can do yourself to help keep your HVAC equipment operating efficiently throughout the year. First, make sure to clear debris from around your outside unit. And you want to give at least two feet of clearance around any AC unit or heat pump. And so that means removing leaves, twigs, dirt, and pollen from around or on top of that unit. And when you're cutting your grass in the summer, make sure that the lawnmower doesn't throw the clippings onto the unit. Two, you want to check your refrigerant lines monthly. Refrigerant lines that come from your HVAC unit into your home are what ensure that you have the heating or cooling you need. If those lines get worn, develop leaks, or become detached, you won't get the comfortable temperatures you and your family want. Even in the winter, check these lines at least once a month. You can eliminate clogs by, once a year, mixing bleach with one cup of water and pouring it down the air conditioner condenser drain to clean out any buildup. In the summer, you wanna turn off water supply to your furnace's humidifier. There's no reason to keep a humidifier running in the summer. So when the weather starts to cool then in the late summer or the early fall, and you're thinking about turning on the heat, you can install a new filter and set your humidistat to around 40% humidity, then turn on your water supply. And finally, don't shut too many registers. You never wanna shut more than about 20% of your home's registers. If you do, you're gonna put an unnecessary burden on your system by forcing it to work harder to give you the level of heat or cooling that you want. So these are some great tips for your winter maintenance to understand what will happen if you hire someone to come out, a professional HVAC technician, and what they're gonna to review to make sure your system is working properly, as well as a few tips for what you can do to ensure that everything's running smoothly, your energy bill costs are as low as they can be, and your family's comfortable in their home. Thanks for watching.